This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Now, yesterday we were talking about Tyler, the Creator's Festival, his Camp Flognaw Festival, and Drake was the surprise guest. And unfortunately, fans did start booing because they had expected to see Frank Ocean. Here is a recap of that. Like I said, I'm here for you tonight. If you want to keep going, I will keep going tonight. What's up? Frank! If you want to keep going, I will keep going tonight. It's been love. I love y'all. I go by the name of Drake. Thank you for having me. We want Frank. Frank. We want Frank. We want Frank. We want Frank. Sheesh. Well, Tyler, the creator, took to Twitter. And by the way, he has changed his name that uh, to embarrass by fans right now, his uh, his subtitle under his name on Twitter. And he said, I thought bringing one of the biggest artists on the effing planet to a music festival was fire. But flip side, a little tone deaf, knowing the specific crowd it drew. Some created a narrative in their head and acted like a-holes when it didn't come true. And I don't F with that. This N-word did feel no way. Song is beautiful. Also, mostly everyone was having a great time. Those issues in the front area were the ones being mad rude which i can see why but not f that y'all represented me and flogged to my guests and made us look so entitled and trash he also said that that was like mob mentality and cancel culture in real life he also said that he thought that was trash and then he went on to say that he thought that he was going to hear hotline bling next so he's listening to it in the shower right now so you think drake again what's the issue though like you can't tell people to be themselves and then when those fans are being themselves and booing a artist they may not be into, then you get mad at them. Like, there, like there's nobody on this planet that everyone likes. Yes, Drake is one of the biggest artists in the world right now, but clearly he just ran into a crowd that doesn't feel that way. Wanted Frank Ocean. They wanted Frank Ocean. I don't see the issue. Like, and that's a good point too. Like that odd future Tyler the Creator crowd is very specific. Like Drake may be too commercial for their liking, but I don't even understand why this is a story. Drake will be fine. Well, I guess he probably Tyler the Creator responded because he probably would put a lot of work into he putting this festival together and. He felt bad that that happened to Drake. I'm sure Drake did him a big favor by even coming to a pair. So he just wants to explain and let his fans know that that wasn't cool because it also represents him. Yeah, no doubt. But you can't really be mad at the fans. You're you're simultaneously telling the fans to be themselves and think for themselves. But when they are thinking for themselves, you're chastising them for it. I think people also want people to be respectful too when you know yeah, they could have been really respectful. hard at putting something together. So that was just his response. Out. My guy usually charges close to a million dollars to perform. He's performing for free on the arm, and y'all boom, yeah, I'm gonna feel away. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know if he performed for free. Oh, you know, oh, we we didn't say all that. Oh, okay. you, you youngins with your little fragile emotions would have hated Showtime at the Apollo. <laughs> that definitely would have hated. Y'all would have tried to fight the Sandman. Y'all would have hated <laughs> that crowd. Yeah, but I can imagine that it took him a lot to put this whole festival together. So I'm sure in the future he would prefer that his fans, just like when you see fans go in on people on Twitter and sometimes you have to step in and say, listen, y'all, you ain't have to do all that. That's just how he responded. Now, Drake said on on social media, plot twist, just signed a 10 year residency at Camp Flogna. Sorry, kids. See you every single year till you are 30. That's right, Drake. Like, I'm going to make you love me. I'm going to make you love me. Okay, you're going to get these commercial hits. Hotline Bling will ring off at that Nog Nog Festival or whatever it's called. Right. What's it called? Flogna. 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 Yeah. All right. Now, Ray J has responded to a Daily Mail story where, according to the Daily Mail, they said that he was trying to get Suge Knight pardoned by Donald Trump and was in talks with them. He's saying that's not true. Here's Ray J. Daily Mail, I never had a problem with y'all, but y'all need to call my team and get stuff confirmed before you just put up any story on your site. What what kind of story did y'all just put up? It's false and it's corny. Like, why can't we talk about the businesses that we're, we're, we're involved with? All right, so that's him saying that's not true. He is not trying to get Suge Knight pardoned by Donald Trump. I mean, that's not a bad, I mean, head- just- that's not a bad headline, though. You're trying to get your man out of jail? <laughs> if it's not true, though. I mean, yeah, I get it. You know, if, you, if it's not true, you want to push back on it, but it's not a bad headline. And if he is trying it, it kind of just explodes where he can't really necessarily do it now because it's all over the press. It's all over the press. You're right, but still, even still, still not a bad story. Sure.